So you just came back from the Broly movie? Yeah. How you feel about that movie? Yo, like I normally don't even watch Dragon Ball, but that shit was kind of hype though. <laughs> like, like just the fighting scenes in general, like it kind of caught me off guard. Even though like, I know Dragon Ball is known for his fighting though, but I really enjoyed it. All right. How you feel about the Dragon Ball movie? Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> it was better than I expected. <laughs> so you'll watch it again if you could? Most likely. Right. I'm going to get it when it comes out on disc, mostly. <laughs> What's up, guys? Yo, what's it's your up? boy Eli. I'm with my boy Chris, and we just saw the movie Dragon Ball Super Broly. I said it right this time, not Broly. <laughs> <laughs> and this movie, pretty much, if you are a Dragon Ball fan, you already know who Broly is. And it's pretty much a retelling of his story in a new, different light. Like they're canonizing, canon, can, you know, making them canon yeah. in this uh, universe. And if you like Dragon Ball, then I mean you're gonna like the movie because it was amazing. So, so you want to give your opinion about it first? Um, I think the animation was like what like put it over the top. Like as far as like anime movies, like I think that was probably one of the greatest anime movies that I ever made. And uh, the animation was like top tier. Yeah, like top tier animation. Yeah, then like when they uh, powered up. That's when the animation just went. Yeah. Oh my god. Like you could tell the animators in this movie, they was just like going ham. They had a whole day to just do whatever they want. And they also did a lot of stuff that they knew fans would want to see. Yeah, they really did. And you could tell the budget in this movie had to be. It's to be honest, this probably might be the highest uh cost in anim, uh, anim, uh anime movie. Yeah, probably. Because I don't think I wouldn't be surprised because of the animation. Yeah, anim, anime movies don't really get that much money. Yeah. So this might be it. And it's like the wide, uh, widest release of for an anime movie. Yeah, so yeah, true. this might be the highest production anime movie of all time. This might also be that thing that put like anime over the top as far as like uh Oh, uh, it's gonna be the highest close of anime stuff. movie in theaters. That's yeah. a, because our theater was packed. Like we're in a small town and it was sold out. Yeah, I've never seen it that, that uh, fact before. Because all the uh, uh, places, bef all the places was already sold out and stuff, and this place is sold out. So if it's like this on a Wednesday, and it's yeah. gonna be here for like two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and the theater was hyped. I would tell you, the theater was hyped about this movie. Like everything they did in this movie, just gosh, they yeah. made. I, I like this. This is probably the best Dragon Ball Z movie. I really like how they did Broly. Too. It definitely like they, was the best one, and they, they read the, the story way better. Like, the, the last story, I mean, it was a good story, but this story is just a little... Yeah, this story was just this is, great. It's better. And I really like the very beginning, too. Like, it, it took a while before they even got to uh, Goku and them. This show, like, yeah. the past, and it was really nice and stuff. It was like a, just a story thing, like something kind of different than what you used they, to see in Dragon Ball. Yeah, this, that's what I was thinking during the movie. Like, they did, like, a... A redux kind of um, of Broly's backstory, so it's not it's nothing it's not even close to the same as it was before. So are we gonna do like the part where we don't we do like a spoiler free part and not? Um, All right, so see this movie, it's great. It's the best anime movie or Dragon Ball movie we've seen. And now we're about to go to spoilers. So one, two, three, four, five. They all die. I can't believe it. <laughs> Can you believe what you gotta say? Uh, the craziest part is that um, that Frieza was the whole the one that like yeah I the really wasn't movie. expecting that I thought uh, when I saw the trailers I thought Pegasus had his own like ship somehow and he was all him I didn't know I thought Frieza. his name was Paragama Parag <laughs> yeah Paragus that was his Paragus name. yeah yeah but I didn't know uh, Frieza was gonna be behind all this because they didn't show that at the trailer at all yeah. really so that was a real shock I didn't like. Frieza just got scot free at the end. No, but he, no, he was getting his ass beat for about thirty minutes. Well, actually, about. <laughs> now, that was an hour and thirty minutes, bro. Like, jeez. Well, I feel like you cut something here, right? Huh? You gonna have to cut that out, right? Just don't say the L word. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was getting beat up for a pretty long time while uh, Goku and Vegeta were learning the fusion dance. Yeah, that was. I'm glad they brought Piccolo, even though Piccolo didn't fight. He already knew, mm -hmm. but he like actually contributed to the fight yeah. because he got them. To and help them uh, learn the fusion dance. Yeah, he was the one that called Goku when Goku was getting rocky. Like, Goku, what you doing, bro? <laughs> that, but that was the cool thing about it is they like Piccolo was the the teacher for the fusion dance, just like he was for Gotenks whenever uh, they were fighting Super Blue. Yeah, I really like how even uh, now, even when they're like su uh, way more overpowered than he, he still has things to teach them. Yeah. I really like that. And uh, the, my favorite part was uh, at the end, he told Broly uh, that he could call him uh, Kakarot instead of Goku. I guess because he's a Saiyan. 
I liked they didn't kill him too. I thought they was just gonna kill him and that was gonna be it. And I really liked that he wasn't evil either. Like, the reason why he was doing this because he was just uh, yeah. fighting him because he was mad about, uh, he was mad because his dad was mad. And yeah. after that, he got uh, hate <laughs> for him and that's what happened. I didn't, boy, we're freezing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we Freeze. should ruin that part though, because I mean, huh? well, well, I mean, you did say it's spoiler. Yeah, this but, is spoiler. They already yeah. seen the movie at this part. But yeah, Freeza just, <laughs> that was kind of, like, they put it in a comedy way, but like, it really was sad, but she was like laughing about yeah. the fact that he just had me like, like this is just, really sad, but like. It seemed like his dad was Par Paragus or something? Yeah, Paragus. Par it seemed like Paragus was like a really big part of that uh, movie, but then they just like easily like killed him off, <laughs> like it was not that. <laughs> yeah, they really killed him off, and then he was like, oh, it did. I really liked how when uh, Frieza was trying to see, see how he could get stronger, he remembered killing uh, Krillin. And Goku turned yeah. Super Saiyan, and he's like, "Wait a second. And he just killed him. And then Broly just—it was over after that. They was fighting a different. They broke reality. Yeah, I don't even know what that. Fighting like a different dimension or something. I don't know. That animation exactly. right there was the top two. Yeah, that, that was, was, that the, was crazy. Oh my god. Like, I then I love how what they did at the very end. Like, it's alluding that Broly might show up in, in the series now. Yeah, like, I think he will show up in the series. I don't even know what they're gonna do if they have someone like that on his side. Because like, once they train him, so he don't get like. Well, a lot of times when they train someone like that, they uh, kind of depower. Well, I know, but the, the power scale in Dragon Ball Super is about to go like way up because the oh, only yeah, other people yeah. that can fight really is like the gods and um, angels. Well, nobody else would really stand a chance. So the power scaling is about to go like way crazy. I like how they teased that little fight with him and we used to even though it was like. Yeah, I mean, he didn't even touch Wii. Yeah, I he mean, didn't even touch He Wii. wasn't going to touch him even if they was like, if, if it was just a full fight, we probably would just one, one shot at him or something. You got anything else to say about this? It was a great movie. I think you should see it. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I give it two thumbs up. This is the greatest movie of the year. And the year just started. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's our spoiler stuff. And then if there's anything else you want to talk about, leave in the comments down below. Like, we'll, we'll start an argument. All right? All right? By the way, One Piece is the greatest anime of all time. Peace out. Sorry.